Hi everyone, welcome to Nourish High Technologies. This is Renvas. In this video, I am going to explain how to read elements into the list and how to display all the elements using iterators. So, iterators means what? Like loops we can use, for loop, while loop, iterators we can use. See, in how many ways we can construct the list? In how many ways? First, we are opening we are opening that IDL. Here, we are opening that IDLE. IDLE. Generally, we are constructing the list, an empty list like this, Li is equal to, or simply here it is L1 equal to empty list. This is the list. How can we check whether it is a list object or not means what? There is a function called type. Whenever you specify the object, it will display, sorry, type of L1, it will display what type of object it is. The class is a list class. Now, here it is another way, suppose L2 equal to by calling the constructor. This is constructor calling. It is also creating an empty list only. Here, so whenever we are checking what is the type of L2, type of L2 and it is also type list type only, class list. Here it is these two are representing that list object in two ways we can construct. Now how to read elements and how to display elements. Suppose here we are taking one file, new file, we are saving with any name, just save. Here it is on my desktop, in, in any location we can save. Here it is just practice.py, any file name but extension should be py, python file. Now we are creating the list, suppose li equal to, by calling the constructor, we are creating the empty list. Now how to read elements into list? How to read elements into list? Suppose here, we are giving the message clearly, enter, enter 5 numbers. Here we mentioned very clearly how many numbers I am going to read. So, 5 numbers means exactly we have to repeat one loop for 5 times. Suppose for loop we are taking i in the range of, in the range of 5. So, here it is, it starts with 0 automatically. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, total 5 times it will repeat. Here it is 5 times. Every time we are reading 1, 1 element. We are reading 1, 1 element. Here we are giving clearly input function input. Here it is input function always returns the element in a string format. So, that we are converting into integer this is the element. We are collecting into a variable called element, variable called element. And next that we are appending to the list, li dot append, li dot append element, we are appending this one. So, it is used to read, after reading I want to display, so directly I am displaying I am not using any iterators and all, just list. So, that li we are displaying, li. This is how to read elements, a set of elements like 5 or 10 elements or 20 elements like this. When we execute this one, it will execute enter 5 numbers, so any, any values we can give, suppose 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 we are giving. It is taking exactly 5 elements only because we are repeating for loop exactly 5 times. So, all the 5 elements it is displaying. Sir, suppose when we do not know exactly how many elements we need to store, how many elements. So, then here we are just asking enter elements only, enter elements, enter elements and here it is to stop. 0 you please enter, based on that we are writing one condition. This is another way, 
just 0 to stop. Here it is how many number of times, no limitation, so infinite loop. Whenever it satisfies the condition, we will break. So, here it is a while true, condition is always true, infinite loop. The control enters into the loop. We are reading, it is the same story, element is equal to integer of input, we are reading that number. After reading that number, so we are just checking that element is equal to 0 or not, because whenever it is 0, we should stop reading. So, if, if the element, if the element equal to 0, simply I just want to break the loop, I do not want to continue. If it is not equal to 0, so then we are adding, right, to the list, we are appending that element we are appending, this is reading. So, once the reading has been completed, we are just printing, print, print, the list is same, that list only we are printing li. So, now whenever we are executing this code, any numbers 10, 50, 40, 80, 30, 70, 90, no limitation, we keep on giving. Whenever you press 0, then it will stop, it will not collect that value 0. Sir, suppose I want to store 0 also means what? You can use any other number that you are not using, any negative number also, that you are not using in your list program. So, this is how we are reading the elements and we are displaying the elements of list as a dynamically reading process. Either finite number of elements or infinite number of elements we are reading into the list. Hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Nareshati channel. Thank you.